right. I'm not going near you. You're... Stranger. Like she's louder than me. <laughs> What's your number? Two. You seem very friendly. You coming from here? Can you find a... <laughs> Under, 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 like under. under. All right, we're over. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I think that lamb got out maybe from the bunk because all the gates are shut. I think we got a bit of a high jumper. I've just come in to uh, maybe set up the hoof trimming unit and run Billy through this morning. I checked him out this morning. He was eating really well, but um, he still is a little tender on that back foot. I thought maybe yesterday he looked a little better, so I was like, okay, we're on the mend, but today I'm just like, you know what? I just wanna see if there's something lodged in it. All right, you guys gotta go in this pen. So Billy. I might grab my shears and just get these cleaned out a bit so I can see what I'm dealing with. I think it's this foot though. Oh, there's like a little tiny... A wee tiny little blister in here, but nothing crazy. 
just to see. And his hooves are dry, which is a good sign. It means the litter's not too crazy wet. And today's kind of gross. Yeah, and it's a bit warm. The, right in here is warm. I'm gonna maybe take a video with my phone so you guys can see it better. Okay, so there's just a wee little, see that tiny little sliver right in there. Right there. It's just a little, almost like a skin tag right there. So I'm gonna put some, I think I have some copper still. I'm gonna squirt that. Give him another shot of an antibiotic because I wondered if it was like a um, infection. And it feels like it is a bit of an because this is all warm. All warm in here. So I'm assuming that's the point of entry and we got to get that dried up. But other than that you can see like his, his hooves are in good shape. There's nothing there that I'd suggest like that it's wet, it's dry. Yeah, so we'll get this trimmed up anyway while we're here. And I'll get this sprayed with that copper. Make sure it's okay under here. Yeah, this one's totally clean. So, yeah, it must be just that little spot. Alright, I'm putting on some gloves this time because this stuff stinks. But it works. be good for that. There you go, buddy. You should be good as you know, hopefully soon. Yeah. You go. Oh boy. Hi. You doing all right? No, you're mad at me. Okay. Well, how about we put you back? Red, you had your chance. Today was actually supposed to be shearing day with Charlie. We were gonna do those, that big group of mature ewes. Uh, he had to cancel because we had one heck of a little snowstorm rip through here uh, yesterday afternoon. Actually, right when we went to ship lambs, it really started snowing pretty hard. And he said it hit him a little bit later than that. So he texted me last night, he said, it's a no go, can you do Friday or Saturday? And I said, let's aim for maybe Saturday because I had something that popped up Friday. So I was really, really hoping to have it done today. The, the problem with not getting shearing done is I've got so many jobs pending. Like they're bottlenecking because I need shearing done first. I need to get them hoof trim and vaccinated next week. Like that is the, that is the due date. That's when I need to do it. And I'm pretty regimented in my schedule. So uh, I get a little uptight when life goes sideways, which it does in the winter typically. Um, but I'm not gonna waste this day. We got Billy looked after, which is good. But the other thing I wanted to do, this has been on kind of a to fix list for probably two years. Um, my water gates are rotten. Like they just have rotted over the years. And they were also built a little bit too short. So have a measuring tape and I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna measure it and I'm gonna measure where I actually want it. And uh, we have fabricators in town that, that made these original ones. So I'm gonna take a picture, get him to make all new water gates for this barn and also get some new rods made up. Especially drives me crazy during lambing. We always run out of rods. So I'm gonna get them to fabricate me a bunch of rods for all these gates. One last thing I wanna do this winter, the goal of mine is to not use any more twine. I mean, I'm gonna use twine for little things, but not for these gates. I want everything done up by chain. Let me show you these gates. So as you see, I always have to use my lambing panels when a gate is too short, because what happens is, this is fine if it's just the use. For the most part, they won't try to get through there. Well, some will. But this is not good when you have lambs on one side. So I'm always like retrofitting these gates with 
lambing gates here. So if you look at the brown rusty gate, this is the one I want that, like I want made up. So they're I believe about 12 feet. The pen is 12 feet, but I'm wondering if we made them shy of 12. Um, and then we have the where the rod goes in here and most of them have been bent or just actually this gate's not that bad but we're gonna do it anyway and then they have these little notch outs so we can divide every water bowl in half one two three four five six seven eight yeah eight of these gates need done and a ton of these rods All right, I was able to get the measurements and I think I might run to town now uh, while there's no one, Mark is away at a meeting and I'm like, I'm all by myself. If I don't do it today, I'm gonna keep it in my phone and I'm not gonna do it and I'm gonna go to use those water gates again and I'm gonna swear at myself and say, oh my gosh, I never did it. So I took a bunch of pictures. So this is just kind of what I do with the measuring tape. So when they're like, okay, well, how far is the thingy for the rod outside, the weld for the rod outside the actual gate, all those things. So I just took measurements. <laughs> this is what I do. This is literally how it, how did we live before cell phones? I don't know. All right, I just got back from town and I have chain. I did have one from before. So I'm just going through and anywhere I have twine, I'm gonna put chain. Hopefully I have enough. I believe there was a chain here. Yes. I don't know where it went to. Do you have anything to do with that? Um, I'm sure you don't. Part of the reason I don't want twine is the fact that, you know, they can chew it. Um, I do like twine sometimes because I can cut it if it gets really tight. Uh, but the other problem with twine is this. It can just shred and these little suckers is what can get wrapped around a hoof and really dig into a hoof and cause issues. So um, if I can eliminate mostly all of this, I still use them for my little blue lambing pens and stuff. And for my creep areas, I'm not really sure what to do there. Um, if I use chain or not. The problem with chain is it does build up with pack pretty quick in those lambing pens, so I'm not sure. The dog is getting mauled by these ewe lambs. Morning guys, it is Saturday and it's, uh, it is early, early. Not that you can tell with my exposure, but we are trying to kind of race through chores here. Charlie's on his way. He'll be here within the next hour. I'm filling the mixer for Carissa. She's gonna feed. We're just gonna tag team this morning. She's got plans, so she's leaving. So it's just Charlie and I today trying to share about 130 ewes. So uh, we're also trying to beat this weather system that's supposed to come in tonight, and he's got about a two hour drive north to get home. So it's gonna be a full day, a long day.
There you go. In every group, there's always a you in the front, right there. And if you remember in my last video when I was filming, there was a really loud one in this you lamb group. You are loud. That's her, and she happens to be the leader, which sucks. So uh, every time we bring in a new lot of lambs, we make one the leader. So she stands there kind of as uh, a way to lure the rest in. And it also fills that area for Charlie. So there's a sheep always right in front of the door and it's easy to pull them back. So that was a big question in my last sharing video that people had, like, why do you have one caught at the front? That's why, but we just picked the loudest one. She's so annoying. <laughs> She's louder than me. Oh. Hello, Red. You're so pretty. Right. That's Little Red. Lil Red. Well, her mom had a name. Mama Red. Ah! Mm -hmm. 
Well, it is currently 10 after 6. We started chores this morning at 7, I think. Charlie has just nicely left about three quarters of an hour ago. So it was a big day for him. That was about 100 and, I didn't get the count actually, 97 plus 32, whatever that is. It took about nine hours all in all, uh, but we did stop for lunch. Mark made us chili, because he's lovely. Uh, I just, I was panicking last night. I said, tomorrow is gonna be, we're gonna be out here till dark. Wasn't, wasn't lying. And he said, you know what? I'll make, I'll move snow in the morning and then I'll make a pot of chili and you can run in and grab, grab some for you and Charlie. So that was like a lifesaver today. These guys look really good. Look how white and clean everything looks. Uh, you'll notice when I fed, um, like we fed this morning the rest of the barn, but you could like they are completely The troughs are completely licked clean. That's not common. Actually. We are uh, now back into our oatledge in the uh, in the feed bags outside and uh, Drastically lower protein in that oatledge. Jamie and I talked this week I got my ration this morning actually through email. I didn't have time to change the ration so I'm on chore duty tomorrow, so I'm gonna, I'll take you guys through it, but I'll, I have to change my ration. And we're actually gonna get into our hay that we bailed up this summer. So different hay, drier hay, so I'm hoping it'll go through the mixer a little better than our wet stuff. This is a good job done. Now I have all my wool. One, two, three, four, five. We have six full bags of wool. So I'm gonna run them to, to Blythe maybe this week or maybe next, the week after and we'll get that all washed up. And then I have a big load to go to Mariposa to get made into some something special. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, today's done and we're done. <laughs>